All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be going over how to create the target matrix for the multi classification case of semantic segmentation. So, in the last video, I showed you guys how to create binary masks, which were really just a single channel image where we have our our objects of interest that are going to be white pixels and then our background is going to be black and we knew this was created by uh, a sigmoid activation all right when we go to do multi-classification every single class including the background needs to be defined so if you come down here you would notice that you have uh, i've created a list called labels and labels is going to be circle square star triangle the order when we go to stack up uh, the number of channels like so now our target matrix will have five channels there will be the first channel will be a circle the second channel will be a square star is third triangle is fourth and the last one will be background so the order of which we create all of our channels is very important they must always correspond to a different class so our target matrix actually has five channels in this case um, with you know four objects of interest or classes of interest I shouldn't say objects of interest these are really when we're doing semantic segmentation we are classifying pixels okay we really want to know if our individual pixel has been classified as uh, you know specific labels that we have here so go ahead and copy and paste this um, you go down here so I'll actually get more into what the hues kind of mean and how we can draw hues but that's coming in the next video so let's actually go up here and we can start by copying pasting uh, pretty much all of this up till the get poly because it's very similar to what we did with the binary mask but it is a, a quite deal it's a little more complicated than the binary masks so I'm going to pull that in and actually you can put a break in here and we're going to make a new function called create multi masks and that's going to take in our image and it's going to take in our shape dicks, our shape dictionary. So what I want to do, the main purpose of this function is to create all of the individual channels and then stack them up and then just return uh, that matrix okay so I'm gonna start by creating a list called channels and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list of classes that is present in our shape dictionary and the way we can do that is we could do a list comprehension that goes through the label so we'll say 4x in shape dicks and then we'll also create all of our polygons that correspond to those labels um, from shape dicks as well so this will be another list comprehension where we say we can take the numpy array of x sub points uh, the data type here should be equal to numpy in 32 so we'll say 4x in shape dick. So now um, what I would like to do, because order is not guaranteed within the shape dictionary, I really just want to create a dictionary that lets me go from uh, an arbitrary label and go to that corresponding polygon that I already have. So we'll create a dict, which is going to zip uh, the CLS and poly. That looks good and now let's create a background so the background again is going to be its own class and we can start by defining it right outside here and we'll say numpy zeros the shape is going to be equal to m dot shape and the data type will be equal to numpy float 32 so now what I want to do is I want to iterate through all possible uh, labels that will make up each channel of our matrix. So for I and label and enumerate of labels, 
uh, what I want to do, and actually I can start by creating uh, another background called blank. So, and blank should be identical to this, just NumPy zeros, M shape, flow 32. And so as I go through all these labels, I'm not necessarily guaranteed that there's going to be, I don't know, a, a star in every single annotation file. So I want to check and say if label is in CLS, which has all the classes that was in ShapeDict, right? If it is present, then I want to fill that in for uh, this blank, okay? So that'll be creating one single channel in our matrix. So we'll do cb2.fill poly. Uh, so we'll fill in blank. And I want to go from, and again, I need the polygon, so I can go label to poly and I already I know the label that I'm trying to create I know the channel that I'm trying to create and I just want that polygon so I can say label to poly of label and then I can fill all of that in with 255 so that'll draw just like we did with binary but we have to do it for every single channel in the image so now we can do uh, cb2 and we can do the exact same thing with fill poly and I probably just copy and paste this and I also want to draw that on background. All right, so we want to draw it for this blank, and we want to draw it on background. So now we'll go down here and we'll say channels.append blank. So we actually haven't exited this for loop yet. So I'm just building up my channels in a very specific order in the order of labels. And then what I want to do, once I've done all of that for the four classes that I could potentially have, I actually want to uh, take my background. So I've been drawing the same object in white on my background, but the problem is that the background shouldn't be, uh, the background should actually be white. So right now it's, it's black and it's, it's been drawn on, it looks identical to all these individual channels. So what we want to do is we actually want to invert the color channel um, for the background. So what I'm going to do, and the easiest way to probably do that is to create CB2 threshold. So you can take uh, an image like background and then you can just flip. Um, so I think the way this works, and I don't know the exact, like if it's above or below, but you take a something like 127. So these are only going to either be like 0 or 255. So we'll just split it right down the middle. And then we'll do uh, CB2 dot, and there are these constants called thresh binary. And this is called, uh, we're going to be using thresh binary inverse. So we're going to flip um, everything that was black is going to become white and everything that's white is going to become black. So now um, before I appended all four channels, we need to append the last channel, which is going to be our background now that we inverted it, or actually not, not background. We want the thresholded background. So that thresh that we returned right here, thresh equals, this will be interesting to see if I have any, any errors. Um, so now we've built up five channels. We, we built up four here within this for loop, and then we've added on the the background right here with threshold so now what i want to do they're all contained in a list called channels i want to do numpy.stack and i want to stack my channels along the second axis which is going to be um it's just like with a grayscale image now we just have five channels like we have width height and now we have that second axis so we started counting at zero the second axis is the depth of our image channel all right we can just return y let's see if that works so i'm going to come down here i'm going to say y is equal to create multi mass i'm going to pass it my image i'm going to pass it my shape dicks and maybe it runs all right, so the error was actually, um, when you create the polygon and fill poly, it needs to be within a list. 
So if I put this here, hopefully it'll work now. Okay, cool. So that looks like it ran. Um, let's actually take a look at, so now what you'll have is a, a matrix Y and the shape is going to be 256 by 256 by five. So now we've created those five channels that we need for our target matrix. Unfortunately, we can't just view an image with five channels, so or at least not easily. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is let's actually visualize we're gonna we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at each channel individually so for I in range of five uh, I want a mask which is really just going to be equal to our target matrix I want all of the 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 rows the columns but then I just want the individual channel I and I'll just say PLT M show of mask and the color map is going to be equal to gray plt.show um, hmm yep so I'm gonna run that really quick so I'm just gonna run so for one image I'm gonna create the target matrix I'm gonna break out of that loop and then once I have my target matrix I can go through each individual channel and I'm just going to plot it as a grayscale image. Um, and remember, up here, the order was circle, square, star, triangle. That is the order they should be in. So if I scroll down here, there's a circle, there's a square, star, triangle. And then the background has been created. So remember, we took a background, which was really just this black image that we initialized at the start and we drew all the different shapes on it, but then we inverted the colors um, using CV2 threshold, okay? So that's what the background is gonna look like. Um, and that is how you create all the different channels for your target matrix, all right? And this is what it should look like. So hopefully if you're someone who's been just trying to figure out how to build out the, the target matrix for multi-classification, hopefully this kind of shows you how to do it, or at least the, the idea behind it, and what it should look like. So in the next video, what we're going to be doing is taking all these individual channels, and we're going to be coloring them in with specific hues, all right? And the hues is what we're going to actually define uh, up here in this dictionary, all right? So I'll see you guys in the next video.